Hi everybody, my name is Snake Eyes BP1980 on the PlayStation 4 system, Xbox 360, and PC. Uh, we're actually not doing any of those. We're doing cooking with Snake Eyes. Uh, we're going to be doing a breaded chicken today. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take a this uh, French fried onions, and we're also going to do a uh, chicken tenderloins, and we're going to try to uh, put this with this. But the process is going to be a little different. Uh, my dad's trying to thaw down the chicken right now. As you can hear the beeping in the background. And basically uh, we are uh, basically going to uh, put, get this crunched down into a bag like this. And then we're going to pay, uh, get uh, like an egg or something like that and put them all together. So if you really want to see what's going to happen next, come closer. So we're going to open this up like so. So, and as you can see, there's like onions and stuff like that in there. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to dump some of that into this bag here so that you can actually uh, crush them down and stuff like that, like so. And I know some people would love to enjoy doing this part. So if you have kids around and they, you want them to sm uh, crush some of this up or whatever, maybe it's best that you can actually have them available. But, you know, this part's a lot fun to do if you have like kids around, you can play catch with it and stuff like that. And um, basically, this is the only way I can think of, of getting crumb, uh, like crumbs or make it breaded and stuff like that. And, you know, you got to work your way into making some great stuff or whatever with, uh, you know, get it worked in. As you can see, it looks like it's really crunched up. It's almost not fine, but you don't want it too fine. You want it to be able to stick or whatever. So, as we're done with that. We're going to get the, these two eggs and this to m get mixed up and then we'll put it all up the the uh, chicken that my dad's thawing out and we can put it all together. You want to get the oven you want to get the oven at 375 on bake. Now, I don't know how long it's going to take, but at the end of the video we'll tell you more about how long it's going to oh, how long I took it and uh, we'll go from there. Uh best bet on this or whatever you want to probably have this uh, clean you don't want to be messy uh, messy and stuff like that but um, the stuff that my dad's working on is trying to get it all uh, thawed out and then we'll be able to put all of this stuff together come back and see what's going to happen next As we actually pulled these out or whatever, we've actually gotten them to look pretty decent. They, they look really good or whatever. Um, I think they're cold, cooked through. So if they don't look like they're cooked through or whatever, you can actually put them in a the microwave and, and cook the rest of it. If you don't feel like to or whatever. But yeah, um, that's basically it right now. So basically, this is what I call a breaded chicken. It looks pretty good. The only downside is it's not breaded all the way around. It's only good on one side. Really good. I, I like to see how you guys like it. Uh, you can mix it up your own flavor or whatever. We did about half an hour of cooking on, the, uh, on this or whatever. So 
uh, if you feel like uh, uh, 375 is too uh, slow for you, go to set, uh, about 40 minutes and take it about maybe around uh, 15. And then if it's too, too uh, you know, pink in the middle, then go a little longer than 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes. Um, you can you you can also crush down peanuts or whatever and put it with your uh, your fried uh, or French fried onions or whatever and you can cook it along with that it's up to you guys so thank you so much for being here I do appreciate it thank you for watching do come back see me next time until then bye for now